The recently released audio of Tim Sheehy making comments about drunk Indians at 8 in the morning was about Crow tribal members. The tribal secretary here in Crow Agency says it's disheartening to hear. For the people who the My name is Tim Sheehy. Montana's race for U.S. Senate has garnered national attention. And now the spotlight on Republican candidate Tim Sheehy is even brighter, but for all the wrong reasons. Audio recordings have surfaced from a 2023 fundraising event where Sheehy makes racially charged comments while talking about roping and branding with members of the Crow tribe. Um, and I rope and brand with them every year you know, down there, so great way to bond with all the Indians to be out there while they're drunk at 8 a.m. and you're roping together. So. That comment <laughs> is a stereotype that Crow tribe secretary Levi Black Eagle finds insensitive. I think that it's a perpetuating old racist stereotypes, that of the, the outdated uh, idea that uh, the drunken Indian. Just days after that initial recording, Sheehy was caught on tape yet again at another event, this time accusing tribal members of throwing beer cans at him. And I tell you, if you don't make that double heel shot on the res, you know, the Coors Light cans fly on the side of him. You know, they let you know right away, hey, look, oh yeah, nice shot, man. So it's a tough crowd. And I don't think that there's ever been an instance where one of the spectators threw anything, especially at one of our guests. We, we treat our guests better than that. Wednesday morning, MTN was present at a Sheehy campaign in Billings, where the Senate hopeful was speaking alongside Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton. This election will literally impact the future of this country. Sheehy's campaign was aware MTN News wanted to ask him about those statements, but we were denied an opportunity to speak with him. Regardless, those statements have led to widespread backlash. Missoula County Senator Shane Morjo calls the comments misrepresenting, and he fears what it could mean for younger generations. When you're making jokes about, you know, Native people being, being you know, alcoholics and violent, well, what does that tell the tell the young the young native kid that lives in my community or on the Crow Reservation. What remains to be seen is what kind of impact those statements will have on Sheehy's election bid. I, I really wish it could be a learning opportunity for the, the candidate as well. You know, we, we expect our elected officials to be people of integrity. And when you do something that's wrong or hurtful, you, you own up to it and you apologize. But that's, that's not who we are and that's never going to be who we are as a not representative of who we are. In Billings, Haley Monaco, MTN News.